holds his heart. I know you're worried about mom, but I promise you she's going to be fine, okay? Just eat something for me, please. Put something in your tummy while you eat. I'm afraid that she comes out fine. Just, you came. You left me with no choice. I'm sorry. Where is she? Well, Johnson, what can I say? I'm sorry, I guess. You're sorry? Is, is that all you have to say? You're sorry? Joseph, do you want to disrupt my life? Why would you say that? I mean, look, I'm going to pretend like I didn't just hear you. And right I'm now. going to pretend like you didn't contact me. Why did you call me? Why, why that, that, what? That? that you have a daughter. Yes. That nine years ago, you and my sister procreated a life. For God's sake, she's your own flesh and blood. Why do I get this feeling like you couldn't care less than I she is? I don't exists? care. Do you hear me? I don't care one bit. Your sister almost ruined my life. And I swear never ever to see her again. And the fact that she might be dying right now doesn't change anything? It does not change anything. It does not change anything one bit. And I don't feel pity for her. She deserves whatever she's getting now. Do you know how many men she, 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 she distributed the disease to? She deceived so many men. I think this is a judgment for her. Wow. Look at you. In your high horse, dishing out judgment on who deserves what. Excuse me, please. Is my sister okay? Your attention needed. I'm afraid your sister's condition has well. You need to come right away. You don't have to say sorry if you don't mean it. It's not needed. What really happened? I thought HIV does not kill people like that. Not now that they've introduced these retroviral drugs. I don't know. I guess Rebecca got tired. She got burned out and she stopped caring. She stopped her medication and it was like she had a dead wish or something. That is irresponsible of her. I mean, she should have considered her daughter, you know, to stay alive, to take care of herself. How can you say that? You and I don't know what it's like. I mean, it must not have been easy on her. Waking up every day knowing that you're carrying a deadly disease and then you, you can die at any minute. It's like walking about knowing that you have a death sentence on your head. Please don't, don't blame her when she's not here to defend herself. Please. 
I can't imagine. So, what will happen to the baby now? To the girl? What do you mean, what will happen to the girl? I mean, who is, who is going to take care of her? You! Her father! Hell no, it's, it's, not, it's not possible. I, I don't have any chance. Why, if I may ask? Why? Because, because I have a wife. What do you want me to tell my wife? What do you want me to tell her? That you have a daughter you didn't know existed. And now you're bringing her home. It's that simple. Judas, who are you? Do you want to ruin my marriage? Hell no, I can't take that. Fine. She is just, she's just your, your sister's daughter, so you can possibly take care of her. Hell no. No. You have to be responsible for her because she is your daughter. I'm not taking your responsibility, all right? I don't mind involving the child authority into this matter. So you have to find your way around it. There's no way I'll take care of that child. You will, trust me. Baby, come, let's go. Help me with the slippers. No way. Are you trying to tell me that something came out from the romance you had with Rebecca nine years ago? Are you just finding out? <laughs> Talk about the most horrific and stupid joke for a day. I mean, if Rebecca was looking for a way to get at me, she wouldn't have chosen a better way. Uh, why do you say that? I don't perceive she meant it that way. I mean, if she knew she was going to die, she, she wouldn't have bothered you. <laughs> Trust me, her death is a total inconvenience to me. Mm. Because I'm not ready to build a relationship with a 10-year-old girl that I dislike her mother. Oh. What will I tell Anita? Because no one will accept a daughter of her husband's ex. Dead or alive. It's not possible. Oh, now I see where the problem lies. But hey, she's your daughter, isn't she? So you have to make Anita understand that. To think I had believed that Rebecca could never hurt me again. That she never succeeded in ruining my life. I thought, I thought I'd forgotten all this. Memories. Oh, come on, man. It's not that bad. Before? You're supposed to be thanking God she didn't infect you with HIV. Because rumor has it that she succeeded in distributing it to a bunch of men. Thank God that she didn't infect me with that deadly disease. I mean, what would have become of me? That would have been the end of my life. So, ain't you one lucky son of a gun? So, chill, relax. Let me go make you something to drink. Anita would definitely come around. Trust, trust me, you'll see. Let me fix you something. Okay, bro. Uh... Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. <clears throat> You're sorry? Let me ask you a question. What is your sorry going to change? I can't believe this. I can't believe you. Look, look. sweetheart, don't, please. Don't sweetheart me. Don't even go there. Don't do it at all. It's bad enough that you got that prostitute pregnant. You had a child with her. You kept it away from me. And now, now you want to bring that child to live with me in my own home. God. What have I done to you? Why do this to me? Why betray me like this? 
after everything, and you do this to me. You're wicked, Johnson. You're wicked. Anita, please, Anita. I'm going to judge you. Look, don't think I do not know how you feel. Okay? I know how you feel, okay? Look, if I could wash away the existence of that child, if I could do anything to let that go off our way, I would. There's something you can actually do. You can actually choose not to bring that illegitimate daughter of your ex to our home. You can actually choose to reject her. I know that that child is my daughter. Flesh. I'm Lord. I can't possibly do this to her. How are we even sure she's yours for real? How are you sure you and I know that that ex-girlfriend of yours was so loose? Who makes you think the daughter is yours so because she just said it you want to believe her? Rebecca is dead. And I don't think she would for any reason lie even on her deathbed. She can't possibly do that. Ubu says she can't. Of course she can. Maybe she, she just wants a bastard child to have a father by all means. It's not like she has been honest with you from the get-go. When I know that she lied about her HIV status. Please don't do this. I beg of you, don't do this. I am trying as much as possible. You know, make this work. Please don't worsen this case for me. Please. I need you now. Honestly, I, I expect more from Johnson. After everything, I, after all I have, after all you want, Anita. Never mind. You won't understand. <laughs> yeah, I won't understand because I'm not the one wearing the shoes. But the little I understand is that your husband has a child outside wedlock, which you were not aware of. As if that's not enough, he wants to bring the child to come live with you. I will never allow it over my dead body. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, my friend. <laughs> that girl is your husband's daughter. She's his blood. You don't expect him to leave the child on the street. No, 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 man. I know where you're going with this. I know what you're trying to do. But let me tell you, not you, Johnson, or anyone can compel me into raising a child that is not even mine. Not to talk of a child from that prostitute from his past. Never. I see. And um, have you told your husband about this? Well, not, not in many words. But he knows my stand on this. Hmm. I'm sure he knows. <laughs> and if I may ask, what was his reaction? Actually, Johnson and I are not on talking terms at the moment. I thought as much. But he will not dare. <laughs> he will not. <laughs> Anita, take this from a good friend. Be careful how you handle this issue. Because you might as well lose your marriage. I'm sure you don't want that. <laughs> Johnson! Johnson! Food is ready. Mm 
food Why do we have one food here? Are you not eating? Lost my appetite. each other's warmth now. Leave me alone. I don't need your warmth. I'm okay. The cold suits me just fine. Sweetheart, please don't do this. Come on. Come on, too. Don't do this. Don't do this thing that you're planning. Bringing your bastard child into our home. Please don't ruin the love and joy we share in this household. Anita, the bastard child you're talking about is my daughter. My daughter. Please try to understand. Understand what? That you want to bring your ex-girlfriend's child to this home because I'm not able to bear you children. That is what you want me to understand. For God's sake, don't say that. Please don't, don't say that. What you're asking me to do is too much. I can't. I can't accept her here. I can't. Don't bring her. Don't. Just leave God out of it, okay? Just don't bring her home. If you do it, you lose me for good. I'm sure you don't want to hear about all of that. What's up? Fine, I, um... I'll just go straight to the point. Okay. What's the problem? It's about the child. By child, you mean your daughter, Angela? What about her? Yes. Do this, I want us to know come to some kind of agreement you know as part of the child's upkeep and what sort of agreement would that be it's simple okay i want you to take care of that child while i pay you every month for our upkeep and you know for your troubles <laughs> you're kidding right I mean, we are talking about your daughter here, not some pet project. A daughter I never planned to have. A daughter your sister forced on me. What do you expect me to do? To be happy that your sister got herself pregnant and forced that child on me? Actually, I do expect you to be happy about this. What? You've been married for over five years now, and you and your wife are here to have any child of your own. So forgive me if I expect a father to be happy and welcoming towards his own daughter. What is it? What kind of a man are you? A man that loves his wife. A man that wants to protect his family. Do it, can't you get it? I don't want anything to do with your sister. I don't want to remember anything about her. Will you accept the offer or not? No. And even if I wanted to, I can't. My fiancé and I will be relocating to the United States, all right? Better get used to this idea because it's happening, okay? I will not be held responsible. See about that. that.
I don't know what to do, Kenny. I haven't even tried some sort of agreement with Judith, with God's sister. But the girl adamantly, blatantly refused. Agreement? What type of agreement did you propose, my friend? To take care of the girl. Stay with the girl because I can't possibly live with her. It's not, it's not possible. I, I, I told her to take care of the girl while I foot the bills. But you did what? My guy, I don't believe you. I mean, why, why on earth would you do that? What, what do you have me do? What? Anita does not even want to hear about her, let alone bringing her in the house. Can you just listen to yourself? What if Anita does not take the girl in? Need I remind you, this is your child we are talking about here. You have been married for how long now? Five years without a child. Man, my guy, why are you rejecting the blessings that God has put on your lap, on your platter? I mean, you should let Anita see reasons with you now. Anita, I have been through a lot. She was there for me during my rough time. I can't possibly do this to her. I can't. Hey, my guy, you're not doing anything to her. All you're doing here is simply looking out for your child, which I feel is a natural father instinct. I mean, you're an evil man, though. You're an Igbo man, and Igbo men are known for taking care of their, their, their families and not abandon them. Hey, my guy, you need to let Anita know who wears pants in the family. You're the man of the house. You have to, you have to tell her that I'm the man and you tell her how things are going to be. And she has no choice than to love that girl because she's your daughter. I know, should he care? Should he care? Go on, Master Raggi. Go on, Master Raggi. Pretty, pretty thing, won't you stay up here with me? I've got everything you need. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Love it when she pull me in, pull me in just a little bit closer. Oh. Are they talking about that invincible that? You didn't notice me coming. Not even a welcome hug. Look, I realize that my request is very difficult. And no woman can take it. Well, well, well. Look at that. <laughs> I guess we should be grateful for little messes as well. Well, that notwithstanding, I have, um, I've taken my decision, Anita. Please, please, for the sake of our love, for the sake of what we share, forgive me. Forgive you for what? And what stupid decision are you talking about? Go on. What decision are you talking about? Anita, I have decided to bring my daughter back home. Did you say? You have decided to do what? I dare you! Just, I double dare you to try it! Hey! Try it! Bring her home! You bastard child! She's not a bastard she child. She is a bastard child. Child of a retired, overused prostitute. That is who you want to bring into my home. You lie! You lie! You know what? What am I doing? Go ahead! You're the man of the house, right? Go ahead and bring her, but you will not, I repeat, you will not hold me responsible for what I will become. You will not hold me responsible for what I will do to her in this house. Go ahead and do it. Bring her home. You want to bring her? Bring her. Get out. After sleeping with the prostitute, you have to go to get her pregnant. That's why I'm not going to bring her into my home. You lie. You lie, Jonathan. You lie. America with you. 
to be common now. You know I would if I could, right? Look, I promise you, as I'm settled in the US, I'll come back and get you, okay? But for now, you have to go with your father. Get to know him and spend some time with him, alright? Promise me you'll do that. Do you promise? I promise and I close my heart. I'll come for you. But for now, I just want you to come and enjoy your father, alright? Now, put on that brief smile of yours for me, okay? Who is the most beautifulness in the whole wide world? You are! Hi, Johnson. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Can I see? Yeah, please. How are you? Fine. Okay, um... My name is Johnson. And I am... <clears throat> I am your dad. I'm pleased to meet you. Please give her some time. I'm sure she'll warm up to you. That's fine. So, um, shall we? Yeah, sure. Following him, is he a stranger? And mom said never to follow any strangers. Come oh, on, baby, don't say that. He is not a stranger, he is your father. Hmm? Besides, remember you promised mommy you were going to give this a try, right? Can you try for me? Thank you, baby. I love you so much, and I'm going to miss you, okay? Don't worry, I'll call you. Johnson, please. Johnson, please take care of her. She's just a child. She's not responsible for whatever happened between you and my sister. So please, love her like a father would. I beg you. Well, I think you don't have any right whatsoever to tell me how to treat her. Treat a child you chose to abandon. You've chosen to wash your hands of her. So however I choose to treat her, it's my business. Really? You see, that's where you're wrong. Okay? Because I can come back to this country at any time I choose. And if I see that Angela is not well taken care of, I promise you, you wouldn't like me. And I don't mind to involve the authorities. Alright? Judas. A threat don't scare me. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for everything and goodbye. Look, don't tell me that you're going to be doing that all day. Can you stop crying? <laughs> hey, look, you're, you're disturbing me. Stop crying. I didn't. Did I hit you? Stop crying, please. Oh, 
all right i'm sorry okay i understand how you feel i know this is strange to you yes it is strange to me too i want my mom i want to go home your mother has gone to meet with the lord and trust me you are stuck here with me and where i'm taking you to will be in your new home henceforth so please stop crying let's let's raise up let's think about something how we can become one family together can you do that for me did you hear me Okay, I have every right to ask this question. Who the hell is she and what is she doing in my home? She's my daughter, Anita. Angela is her name. Okay, and she has come to live with us. I don't remember agreeing that you bring your dead prostitute ex girlfriend's daughter to our home. The mom's not a prostitute. Oh, please shut up. Can you imagine that? Stop, stop, stop. I said, I said, come here. Come here. Where do you think you're going to? Where did you think you're going to? I want to go home. I want to go to Auntie Judith's. And I'm sorry that your Auntie Judith is not coming back. She's traveling out of the country. You so are you lying. are stuck here with me. You are lying. I want to go. I want to stay with you. I want to stay with that wicked woman. Hey, 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 hey. Watch it. Watch your mouth. That woman you refer to as wicked is my wife. And she's going to be your mom henceforth. Okay? No, I want mom. Mom was never a prostitute. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you heard that. Okay? And I'm, I'm very sorry that she slapped you. Yeah, I know. Nobody wants to hear her mom being insulted. Yes, I know. Okay, but please. Let's, let's give her another chance, okay? Can you do that for me? Can you? Thank you. I'm sorry. How could you do this? Making good claim of your track by bringing down your daughter to this house? How could you do this? I can't believe you'd be so cruel to a little girl like that, Anita. That girl could possibly be your daughter. How would you feel? How would you feel if someone treated your daughter like that? Oh, please, enough of the gaslighting. She can never be my daughter. You know why? Because I am not as foolish and selfish as your careless ex. Bringing a child to this world, knowing fully well that I'll be sentencing her to an eternal damnation. What exactly are you sweet? Nothing. Nothing other than the obvious. You're trying to make me raise another woman's child. Your ex-girlfriend's child for that matter. Why are you trying to take advantage of the love I have for you? Why? Please don't say that. You know, you know it's not possible. You know I cannot. I can't possibly take your love for me for granted. It's not possible. Please, understand the fact that I had no choice here. I understand. But you should also understand that you're forcing this child on me. So you will not tell me how to treat her. I will treat her however I damn fit. Hi. <sighs> Hey, hey, hey! Where you come from there? Mommy. Who's your mommy? Did you just call me mommy? You don't know what your mom looks like anymore. Don't you dare try that anymore. I'll never be your mother. See, 
If your mommy trained you to be lazy, you cannot be lazy in my house. Now up! Up to the kitchen! Up! You're sleeping, lazy rat. Go and wash everything and clean. Move! I'll clean everything in that kitchen. Say, here. Yeah. I don't want to see a single stain on these plates. Start washing them. What? I don't know how to wash plates. No, 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 wash plates. Wow. What a princess. This goes to show how your stupid mother didn't raise you well. Eh? Eh? Did you, did you say something? Did you, did you say something? Come on, would you start washing these plates now? See your mouth. In fact, all this. Wash them. Oh! Oh, yeah! Wash them! This one is dirty. I gave you 20 minutes. 20 minutes to wash all these plates. By the time I'm back and you're still here, flog you. Hey babe, um, why are you up this early? Oh, I wanted to meet you in the morning. Come on, it's Sunday morning. Why the rush? Well, I... no, 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 What's wrong? Uh, I need an urgent HIV test. HIV test? Mm -hmm. That's a very strange request I've heard from you in a long time. Uh, <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Well, I will know if I see the results. Please, can you? It's, uh, it's urgent. It's very important. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, my darling. Thank wow. you, sir. You're welcome. I'm sorry for what happened this morning, okay? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to break it. Please, can you forgive me? It's okay. All right, I know that. You cannot break that plate intentionally. It's not possible. All right? You're a good child. I'm sure. You're a very good child. Look, it's just that Anita, my wife, has not just um, realized it, but you're a good child. Can you promise me one thing? Sorry, I was still going to promise. Let me see what you want to say first. Okay. You're a smart child. You're a smart child. All right, see, I want you to promise me that you'll give my wife, Anita, a chance. Look, she's not a bad person, all right? Just as she's trying to, you know, build up herself around you, okay? Can you promise me that? I'll try. One more thing, can you please, you know, call me daddy someday? Hmm? I'll think about it. Thank you. I know you're hungry. Can we go have some breakfast? Let me look at you. 
Mm -hmm. You know you're my daughter. Just I want you to please relax yourself, okay? Okay. Good. Now just swing. Why is it taking this long? It's just the HIV test, right? It's not supposed to take forever. Yeah, of course. It doesn't take long. Okay. But can you at least stop acting dramatic? And tell me the surgery odd why you want to know your HIV status. Well, there was an accident at home. And the blood of that late prostitute's daughter spilled on me. You know her mother died of HIV, right? So I'm pretty sure that Angela is also HIV positive. What? If you married my friend, I would have spanked you so badly. What is wrong with you? So, so you came all the way here just because you thought the little girl has infected you by simply spilling her blood on you accidentally? What is wrong with you? Huh? Even a five years old baby would know otherwise. And besides, what made you think she's a carrier because her mother died from it? Well, we can never be so sure, can we? I think I know what you're doing, Anita. I know what you're doing. But I never knew you could be this petty. What did that poor girl do to you? Why treat her like a leper? Is it because... Please, 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 Nora. I didn't come here for this, okay? Just save your lecture. It's easier for you to sit there and say whatever because you're not the one in my shoes. Finally. Doctor, this is the test results that I requested for. Thank you. Just excuse me. Finally. Go on, just open it, okay? Very soon, you tell that you will be back for a very serious discharge. I hope so. I just hope so. What does it say? What does it say? Talk to me. Can, what does it say? Stop. Can I, can I see that? Give it to me. you because you had no open wood to aid transmission even if you did there's no way she would have infected you today and get tested today and be positive it's not possible you still have to go through what we call the window period here you go again with your sermon about it i am not HIV positive save me the lecture already oh my god can't you see can't you see that my life is crashing down can't you see can't you see i'm finished how do I tell Justin? He's going to leave me. How do I live with ease? Come to me. No, don't tell me to come down. 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 Don't tell Stupid 
girl. I just knew coming to this house was nothing but a disaster. You are bringing up nothing but tears. I will make sure I deal with you, you little brat. Where is she? You. I knew it. You little witch. I knew it from the moment you stepped foot into this house that you are nothing but a witch. The devil himself sent you to ruin my life, right? But you're small. Because before you even think about it, I will destroy your life. I will destroy you. Oh, I will destroy you. Anita, what in God's name has gotten over you? What is your problem? She's my problem. I told you that bringing this witch into this house will bring nothing but bad women, but you would not listen to me. You went ahead and brought this, this witch to destroy me. Will you put yourself together. <laughs> You have to stop being irrational because this poor girl has done nothing to you. <laughs> oh my God. Did you say she has not done anything to me? Oh, if only you know. If only you know the damage she has caused already. This girl has ruined it all for me. My chances of having my own children, my chances of living a long, healthy life, she has taken it away from me. It's all hard for her. I mean, let me kill her myself. Anita, you are not making any sense. What are you talking about? Leave me alone. I know you will not believe me. You will not believe me. This girl has killed me. I am a living slap who have myself. I am a living killer. I will kill you before you think of killing me. I will kill you in this house. You are too small. You are too small. My God. I am dead. Hi Nora, how are you and how's work? Work has been uh, a bit hectic. Um, please, hi Zalita, is she okay? I mean, uh, she stopped by the office to pick up earlier. I'm afraid she didn't go back the same way she came. Nora, I don't understand. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, what I'm trying to say is, you and your wife need to talk, okay? And I need you to please give her a little time. Is there anything wrong with Anita? Why was she at the hospital? Nora, is there something you're not telling me? Um, um, Johnson, uh, I think I've said enough. Uh, but the main time, I just want you to stand by your wife because she, she might, you know, displace it. Please just stand by her because she needs you more than ever right now. Alright. Um, thank you very much, Nora. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate this call. Of course, I'll take care of my wife. You know I love her. I'll see you around, Nora. Thank you. Why did she go to the hospital? Are you all right? What do you think? Do I look like I'm not all right? Nora called. She did? What did she tell you? What did she say? Did she say something? Nothing. She didn't say anything. I'm actually waiting for you to say something to me. Something like what? Anita, are you hiding anything from me? I'm not hiding anything. There's nothing to talk about. Just leave me alone here. I want to see. Okay.
are you doing? You can't talk? Sleeping on duty, right? Have you finished all the work I asked you to do? Can't you talk? Listen, I'm giving you five minutes. Five minutes to clean this whole place up. Look at this mess you are creating here. And when you're done, you see the entire compound and then you go to the kitchen and do the dishes. Oh, get to work! Fuck it, she's looking at me. Look at now. I'm not even use. Just, just imagine. Bring that and let me clean my shoe. Stupid. Just try. Let me come back here and, and you're not. What is the meaning of this? Have you finished all the work I gave you? Why are you sitting down here resting? I'm tired. Who was supposed to give me? I'm just a little kid. And that's that's sheer wickedness. Did you just call me wicked? Are you mad? I will show you the true definition of wickedness. Today, by the time I'm done with you, you'll be begging to leave this house. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. Anita, I said I'm home. Oh, uh, I sorry, I, I didn't notice you. Welcome. Anita, are you okay? Were you crying? No, no, I, I I wasn't. I just had something in my eye. I'm sure it's out now. I wasn't crying. Okay, I I got them for Angela. You know, children they love noodles, so I I got it for her. So where is she? How am I supposed to know? Am I a keeper? Hey, darling. Good afternoon, man. How are you? Good. Sit. Look, I got this for you. You're welcome. Anita. She's running temperature. Is she okay? Yes, I'm sure she's fine. Maybe it's because she has been sleeping all day. You want to go to the hospital? Are you alright? Okay, let's go upstairs. me forever because of Angela. I'm not punishing you, okay? I'm just not in the mood. Try to understand. Okay. Fine, if you're not in the mood. Let me put you in the mood. Please. Alright. I can't. I can't. Just stop. 
okay? Just, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Anita, Anita. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't be this to you. I can't hold you like this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please. Anita. Sorry. Anita. Anita, open this door. Open this door. What is wrong with you? Ready. Oh, don't worry, I'm not hungry. Um, please, um, if you don't mind, I would love you to take Angela to the hospital. I think she's running temperature. Okay? Can you do that for me? Sure. Alright. Uh -huh. I don't think I'll be coming back early today. So please, take care. To come and sing for you before you wake up. Get out from there! Uh, I'm sick. At all? Are you the first person to be sick? If you don't get off this day, you will receive a dirty slap. When your mother was busy gallivanting, spreading disease up and down, she didn't know that Nemesis would soon catch up with that. Come on up, lazy girl! If you don't stand up, I'll slap that sickness out of you. Go to the kitchen! Go and start your chores. Liar! As if I don't know, I don't know liars when I see one. Come on, move, 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 move to the kitchen. What was that? I'll push you if you don't move. Be fast. Mom. I'm doing what she please. Can I have some noodles? I'm hungry. Who's your mom? We don't know how your mom looks like. What is the meaning of this? Why are you calling me your mom? And what did you just say? <laughs> I should come and make noodles for you. As what? Your servant? As your cook? Your maid? Are you are you are you rude or what? Are you trying to upset me? Come on, come and take your food here. And then you take your medication right after. I'm sure you can read. So you know the right dosage to, to, to like overdose, so you die, don't say I killed you. So if I cook noodles and give you, you eat. Because you washed your nari too. Your Highness, I, I should bring the water for you. Come on, would you come and... Come this way. Are you a witch? So that you... Give me water. If I don't need it, right? Make, make good use of that food, though. That's the only thing you're eating until dinner.
Finish that food, oh. There's no food waiting for you. Eat it, eat it well. That's all you're having until dinner. Oh. If you like this, squeezing your face there. Hey darling, sweetheart, wake up. Sweetheart, wake up, wake up. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why are you sleeping on the floor instead of your room? I always wait for you, so I just do stuff. It's okay. Come. You okay? You've been crying. Why? I just miss my mom. I know. And I understand that feeling, okay? And I'm sorry your mom passed on so early, okay? Look, I assure you, your mom is in a better place, okay? And wherever she is, she's looking after you, okay? Good. Now, I'm hungry, and I know you're hungry too. Can we go get something to eat? Give me a smile. Please don't again. You promise. Let's go. Necessary. Anita, Angela is part of this family. She is my daughter. Okay? I think it is time for us to start making her feel so. Sweetheart, please come over. Anytime I'm off to work. I've been meaning to ask you. I came back from work yesterday and I found Angela sleeping on the floor. Why was that? How am I supposed to know? Do I care where she sleeps? If she likes she should sleep in the motor park. I don't care. Am I her bodyguard? I see. I also noticed that um, she looks malnourished. Like she's not eating enough. Why? What are you insinuating? That I'm starving your precious daughter? Sweetie. 
Look, I do not want to feel that you are abusing that child. That's supposed to be me. <laughs> you know what? I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. It's not your fault. It's not. Remember, I never agreed to you bringing your ex-girlfriend's daughter into our home. Bringing her here and forcing me to raise her. If you don't like the way I'm taking care of her, then you should go and hire a nanny. I'm not a nanny. Plus, since you're so concerned about why she's looking so lean, why don't you take her to the hospital? Maybe the same thing that killed her stupid mother is what is making her look. You know, I... Mm -hmm. Nora, <laughs> good to have you here. So you finally found time to leave that your busy hospital to come and pay your friend a visit. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Moreover, today is my off day, so I figured I needed to pay you a visit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, honestly, I've been really worried sick about you. How are you? Well, you don't have to worry about I'm, I'm doing okay, as you can see. Yes, obviously. <laughs> yes. You're doing okay. <laughs> and um, I also planned on, you know, celebrating my 12 years old daughter's birthday mm. for Sunday. Oh, it's a birthday. So I figured since you have a nine years old daughter living with you now, it would be nice to invite her. <laughs> <clears throat> um, well, that's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> but. I don't think that's a good idea. Why is that, Anita? I mean, this party could give the child an opportunity to meet and blend with other children of our cycle or friends. Yes, that's correct. But I haven't said this to you before. We we recently found out that Angela is HIV positive. So you see why we can't risk the chances of her playing with other kids and infecting them with the virus, right? Oh no, no, that's, that's, that's wrong. She can't infect them by she, playing. Of course she can. That's harsh. What's harsh? That's the truth. You are lying. Are you, are you referring to me? Yes. I don't have HIV and it cannot be transmitted just by playing with other children. Children can still live a normal life just by taking their medicine and don't make blood contact. Shut up! What do you know about HIV and how it's being transmitted? I am sure you have no idea that your stupid mother died of AIDS. No. Mom told me before she died that she had me through C section, which I can be HIV free. It's all stigmatizing them. I just show them love and care. Let's do a being wicked like you. Wait. Hey, no! There's no way! Stop talking to me! How dare you! I need to move on! I need to stop! Let me chill now! No, no, no! How dare you! How dare you! You, you! Stupid! How dare you talk to me! Can you imagine? You little brat! Now, up! Go up! Now! Hey! Have you seen it? Nora, have you, have you seen what I've been going through in this house? The disrespect? How dare you? You little brat! It's fine, she's just a child. Jesus Christ. I can't believe you would do that. What is going over you? Why would you treat that poor girl like that? I don't know, Nora. I, I don't know what has gotten over me. I don't know what's wrong with me anymore. I just hate that child. I can't explain it. Each time I see her, she reminds me of the fact that I can never have a child for my husband. My life has been turned upside down ever since she came to this house. Oh. It's all her fault. Oh. It's all her fault. That poor girl has done nothing to you. What? What you're doing is simply living in denial and blaming someone else for your problem. You shouldn't be doing that. 
You should face the issue head on, Anita. <sighs> I'm sure you haven't told Johnson about it yet, have you? No. No, I haven't. And please, please don't make me do it. I can't stand it. I can't bear the chance of losing him. Do you know what it means to tell my husband that I'm HIV positive? He's going to leave me. That will be the end of our marriage. That will be the end of me, Nora. No, 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 no. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to be like that, my friend. Johnson loves you. That I know for sure. In fact, the love you both share can actually weather the storm. Yeah. We never will know if you don't tell him yeah, what you're saying. Nobody loves an HIV patient. Did I not tell you what happened to Angela? She died alone, rejected, unloved. No, that can never be me. No! It doesn't have to be like that again. People ah. with HIV or AIDS can still live a normal life. All they need is love and, and, and acceptance. Guess what? The little girl was right. It's really ironic that you feel this well about this people. Knowing full aware that you are also a carrier. Meaning? Meaning, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Changing your attitude and riding up this anger is your first step to healing, my dear. And you need to make up your mind and tell Jason about this. Because the more you keep silent, the more you risk him contracting the virus. That's if he hasn't gotten it yet. How dare you say such rubbish? You, 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 I don't blame you. You can't relate. So it's okay for you to sit pretty and preach to me. You're not the one infected with the virus. You're not the one with HIV. You're not the one wearing my shoes so you don't know how it hurts. It's okay. It's fine. You can mock me. But you know what? You cannot do it in my house. Now you get up and get out of my house. Get out! Anita, are you asking me out of your house? You know, with friends like you, who needs an enemy? Get out! Get out and don't ever come back. I don't need you. Go now, back, push you, Nora. Get out of my house. Get out. Don't judge me in my own home. Get out! Get out! Get out! Just get out and leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone in my video, I don't know if you want to see you. God, why are you? Johnson. Johnson? Johnson! What's, what's going on? Sorry. Is this still about your daughter, Angela? Yes. And my wife, Anita, is not. It's finding it hard accepting her. And she's letting it out on me. Letting it out on you? Why? How else does a woman show her displeasure if not in bed? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn, man. Like, I don't envy you one bit. Like, how cruel can a woman be? What's funny? Come on, jump with the claws. <laughs> Anita is showing me the other side of her that I didn't know. You can imagine, you can imagine Anita rubbing it on my face that I once had a relationship with someone who had or died of HIV. Gosh, that's so cruel of her. If I know women, I would say she's trying to frustrate you into pushing that little girl away. But if you would take my advice, my friend, just hang in there. By the time she realizes you're not bulging, she would have no choice than to compromise. I hope so. Okay, I just truly hope so. Because I cannot, I don't know how much of our reactions I can condone anymore. I don't know.
understand what's going on. Look, I know I, I offended you, right? Yes, I know. And I realize that I should have allowed you to have a say on Angela's case. But I've told you, I've explained to you that I had no choice. Please, don't let us be like this. Don't, please, we used to be very loving. What's going on? Well, whatever happened, it's not any fault of mine. Let's set this aside before you reuse us. Please. I miss you. And honestly, I, I need you. Let's use this. What's this? Protection. Yes, I know what it is. What? Do you expect me to use this with you, Anita? The condom? Wait. You don't trust me? Anita, Anita do, you, do you feel I'm cheating on you? You feel I will? I wouldn't infect you with disease. No, it's not that. Then, what is this? You know what? It's fine. Keep your body to yourself. I am no longer interested. I can see that you are insecure about me. That's fine. I can't believe you. This, this bullshit. I can't believe you. I can't believe this is happening to me. God knows I have never given Anita any reason to believe that I could cheat on her. So where the hell is this mistrust coming from? As each day go by, I am confronted with the fact that I'm being forced to choose between my wife and my own daughter. God. 
Is my marriage the price I have to pay to be with my daughter? Oh, damn you, Rebecca. This is all your fault. Oh, God. <sighs> Are you back? Oh, sorry. I'm sure I had something coming from that. The kitchen. Should be fine, eh? Uh, uh, Mr. Johnson, I'm sorry, I can't really say for now, okay? We need to wait for the test results to come in. We need to know the extent of the damage to our head due to the fall. But, Anita, Johnson, do you both mind um, explaining to me again what led to this injury? <laughs> Doctor, what happened was that my, my, my daughter slipped and, and fell. She hit her head on the staircase. My daughter hit her head on the staircase, though. Doctor. I see. Um, well, like I said, we need to wait for the test results to come in. 
I just hope your daughter hasn't developed or a serious injury. Please excuse me. Don't you dare say anything. You wanted her dead, right? No. You wanted her dead like a mother, right? No. No. Look, look at my daughter. My daughter is fighting for her life. And that my daughter is fighting for her life all because of you. Do you know what? I don't want to ever see you in my life again. I don't want to ever see you in my life again. Get out. No. Get out. Please, I'm sorry. Please let me just say. Don't ever repeat myself again. You are wicked, Anita. You are evil. What are you doing here, Anita? Um, Nora, I'm sorry to bother you like this. Not after everything I did to you, but I'm in the dire need of a friend. I'm so sorry, please. Come in. I never wished her death. I hated her, yes, I know. Because she was just a constant reminder that another woman gave my husband something I couldn't give him in five years of marriage. A child of his own. A reminder of something I could never dare to try learning my HIV status. I would have never meant to hurt her. I would never wish her dead. I know I said that so many times, but I never meant it. You have to believe me, Nora. I know. Okay? I know. See, and I'm sure deep down somewhere in her heart she knows too. So does John say. See, whatever he said to you, that was grief speaking, I believe. I don't want to lose him, Nora. I love Johnson so much. I love him so much. I can't bear the thought of losing him. See, I was confronted by so many issues. I, I didn't know how to deal with them. You're right. I was living in denial. I was confronted by issues. I didn't know how to cope with them, how to deal with them. I just needed a scapegoat so badly that I had to take it out on a child. That poor child. Now she's at the hospital fighting with her life and she may never wake up. I can I ever make amends? No, don't say that, Anita. Don't. See, nothing is going to happen to Angela by God's grace. She's going to recover and... You and Johnson are going to make things up. No, I promise. You don't know that. You're just saying that. Make me feel better. Not after everything I did to Angela. Not after he learns the truth about my age, I've been to see. He would not want to live with me as a wife, knowing that I could, I could, I could infect him with it any moment. And you know what? It's fine. This is karma. This is karma for always treating people with HIV as if, as if, as if, as if, as if they are pigs. I deserve this. Why should anyone treat me any better now that I make a career? No, no, don't say that. Stop it. You're just being too hard on yourself. See, as a doctor, I know couples who live with HIV and they still live a normal life. So long you adhere to the strict medication advice and you know, treatments, everything will be fine. I see no reason why you both can live a normal life and have children who are HIV or AIDS free. Wait. Are you 
Are you saying that? Are you saying that I, I, I can actually live a normal life? Yes. And have, and have kids who are HIV free? Yes. And I won't die so soon like Angela's mom did in a horrible way? No, no. See, I didn't know Angela's mom, but I am very sure she was careless with her treatment, which resulted to her death. In fact, carriers of this virus can live 70 to 100 years if it's God's will. So you have nothing to worry about, my friend. But first, you have to tell your husband. He deserves to know the truth. Okay? Okay. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. We are humans. Excuse me, Mr. Johnson. <sighs> please quickly get the following medicine now from the pharmacy. Oh, okay. Thank right. you. Angela. I don't know. She's just lying in there. She looks so helpless and lifeless. Oh wow. The doctor said she she slipped into coma. Oh. oh my god. I mean, what 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 happened? Why, why how did she sustain such an injury that led to a coma? Well, according to Anita, she said she, she caught her standing from the port. You know, and, and she meant to chase her or beat her up. She ran away. So she chased her out. At the point of trying to hit her up, I, I came in and I saw her hitting the girl with, with an object. What? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I, 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 when I saw her, I, my, my daughter slipped and hit her head on, on, on the staircase. Do you mean to tell me Anita is responsible for Angela's uh, condition? She, she said it was a mistake. Of course, that would be her defense. Why would Angela go to the port in the middle of the night to take food if she is being well fed and taken care of and not being starved? And my friend, can't you see? My friend, Johnson, you have allowed your wife treat your daughter like a total stranger in your own home for far too long. And this is the climax. Then you have to do something about this, man. But I just pray she's fine. Okay? Hey! Johnson, sure. Go to your place, alright? Hmm? Hey, hey! What are you doing here? Oh, well, I... 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 I, I came to get you some change of clothes and some food. That is not what I'm talking about. I said, what are you doing in my house? I thought I told you I never wanted to see in my life. I want you out of my life. Yes, I know. She said so. But I couldn't bear to just leave like that. I know I've made so many mistakes in the past. But if I had just left, that would have been the greatest mistake of my life. I wanted to, to tell you the truth before I leave. What truth are you talking about? The truth behind the way I was behaving. The way I have been so wicked towards Angela. I know, I know I never wanted her from the onset, but that's not the only reason I resented her so much. Look, I am not interested in knowing how you treated my daughter. I am not. And if I gave you opportunities, I gave you opportunities to treat my daughter right, but you never did. And for your information, I have decided to choose 
to stay with my daughter. Now get the hell out of my house! I got tested positive for HIV. What did you say? Yes. I, did. <laughs> I found out the day that Angela's blood spilled on me. I rushed to the hospital to get tested. I never knew that that would be the worst case of my life. <laughs> no, I, I never cheated on you, if that's what you're asking. You and I know that HIV can be transmitted through so many means, not just by sexual intercourse. That's why I'll be so angry. Oh God. And I, 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 I think oh you God. should you should get tested yourself, so you be sure. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. How? I, don't know. I can't even make anything out of it. I just... It just, it just made me so bitter. And the way I treated Angela. I don't really hate her. I know she's a constant reminder that I, I, I'm not able to give you a child. But the way I treated her was just because I just needed someone to blame. I just needed someone I could, I could, I could lash out on and she was just a scapegoat. I'm sorry. Anita, why are you blaming yourself? Why? <laughs> I am the one who was exposed to the carrier. I know. Why, why did you hide this thing from me? Because I was scared of your rejection. Oh. No one wants to be with an HIV infected person. Now you understand why I've been doing everything possible to avoid any kind of intimacy with you because I couldn't risk giving you the virus. Anissa. I'm sorry I treated Angela the why way I did. Why did you hide it from me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I, I will leave. Okay, I, I will leave your life. But please, just just grant me this last wish. Okay. Let me just hang around until Angela is fine. You? Once she's fine, I can just go. Anita, you are not going anywhere. <laughs> I, I won't let you go anywhere. I'm sorry. Anita. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop. <please>. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, please, how is she? Any changes? Yes, Sam. It's good news. Ah. <laughs> God. I mean, the damage on her head is mm. only superficial. Okay. So there was no damage. God. Thank you, Doctor. So, so uh, if that be the case, why, why is she not waking up from coma? That's that's the puzzling part. Considering the result, so there's no reason for your daughter to still be in coma. Except there's something different that happened during the accident than the way I was. <laughs> Doctor, what are you trying to say? to realize that the spiritual plays a huge role in some medical cases, whether we like it or not. Spiritual, how? Mr. Johnson, can you tell me, maybe perhaps there's a reason why your daughter doesn't wish to return back to you? I also think you should try talking to your daughter. I mean, you know there's a saying that says that um, those in coma tend to listen to the voices of their loved ones. I think you should talk to her. I mean, really, really talk to her. Tell her how much you love her, how much you care about her. That might aid her recovery. You never can tell. 
So I would advise him to give it a try. Please excuse me. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. My angel. Sweetheart. The doctor said talking to you might have to look you up. I realized that I was not a good father to you. I know. Your assistance, you know, was a very big shock to me. But that doesn't mean that I didn't want to. Forgive me. Forgive me, please. You know, this accident has made me realize how much I love you. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for neglecting you. I'm sorry for everything that happened to you at home that I was supposed to protect you. Forgive me. Please, I beg you, wake up. I don't want anything to happen to you. I can't be hated for anything. If anything happens to you, I can't. Please help me. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I love you so much. I love you very much. is the same. The doctor said that should uh, practice talking to her. Uh, that uh, the sound of the voice of the loved ones can, uh, you know, can make her revive. So I've been doing just that. This is all my fault. Look at the damage I caused. Excuse me, Mr. Johnson. The doctor asked me to call you. Your daughter has begun calling. Doctor, is, 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 is it true? It's a miracle. Oh, first call. First call. See, your daughter is out of coma. She's very okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. My doctor. Oh, my baby. My baby. My baby. Thank you. Uh, okay, let me give you for a moment, all right? But uh, um, please um, be brief. She needs to rest. Oh, okay, okay. Fine. I know, I know. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. All right, I'm so, I'm so sorry for everything. Look, I promise you. I promise you nobody will hit you ever again. Okay? Please. I love you. Can I get it to eat? Are you hungry? Uh, let me quickly get you some. Don't, don't worry. I, I, I'll get it myself. Please, just hang on for me. I'm, I'm, I'm coming, okay? I'm coming. Thank you. Thank Please, 
if I could turn back the hands of time and, and go back to the very day you walked into my home. I promise you, I will welcome you with love and kindness. I'm so ashamed of myself for letting things get to this point before realizing that I've been so wicked towards you. Please, I beg you. Please forgive me. I won't be able to live with myself if you don't. Please. Can you, can you ever forgive me? Can you? You're forgiving me? You're leaving? Yes. It's for the best. But I know that I'll miss you. I'll miss your love and kindness. I'll miss this house. I miss Angela too. I just, I just have to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Please. My next life, I'll kick you over and over again to be my husband and walk this path with me. I just wish you'd find somewhere in your heart to forgive me. And Angela too. Angela, please. Don't go. You have to let me go. You have to be the man. You don't deserve this body that I carry. Let me just go. For the longest time, I, I hated and treated people with HIV like, like crazy, man. Like, when you the tables would turn this person. Now that I'm a career, I think it's only fair that I suffer the same fate. I love you. Anita, I love you. Please don't, don't leave me. Don't see. Please. Look, HIV is not a death sentence. I'm sure they must have told you that. I forgive you for everything. I, I forgive you. All right, please don't go. Please, let's leave as one big family, one happy family, now that you've made peace with my daughter. Even after everything I did to Angela. Good man, Johnson, thank you. Thank you for this kindness. I'll never forget. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Don't go. me and guess what? I'm so happy! Okay? Okay, um, you first. You no longer have HIV. Ah, wrong. Ah. Over to you. Okay, of course, why not? Well, come here, my lucky child. Come here! Let's hear it. I'll be feeling you guess correctly. Let's go. Ah, uh, no! Why did you fail? <laughs> Okay, fine, go fine. I'll speak. Guess what? Don't. I'm pregnant! What? <laughs> I'm pregnant! I have a little brother! A little sister! <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness, this is so 